Welcome everyone to Vlogmas in July. That's right, a video every day for 31 days, presented by Nomad Internet. Typically, Vlogmas is done in December, where vloggers on YouTube upload a video every day for 25 days leading up till Christmas morning. I borrowed this idea from the Bethunes over at Red, White, and Bethune. They passed the torch to me this year. As a Christmas fanatic, this is a great way for me to be cheerful and thankful all month long. Opie, you better be a good boy this July. Santa Paws is watching. Tara, no more sneaking into catnip sack. Santa Paws will bring you coal. Thanks for joining me this month, guys, and have a jolly old month of July. Yeah, hey everybody, welcome back. Vlogmas in July continues a video every single day. How are you guys doing? I got Tater Tot out today, uh, doing something that I like to do in Tater Tot, and that is scope out possible secret uh, campsites. Um, I take the car in case I get to a dead end. <laughs> That way I can just easily get the car out and I'm not stuck unhooking the car from the, from, from the RV and stuff. This one didn't work, but... But yeah, I am literally just driving the car around Washington State looking for a little hidden gem. This is usually what I'll do. If you'll look behind me, there's a main road right there, okay? So people are flying by out there. There's absolutely no signs that say no trespassing, private property. A lot of these actually have a gate on them because they were used as old logging roads um, or they have big concrete bricks. This one just had some tall grass that tickled Tater Tot's uh, undercarriage here. And uh, it didn't take long for me to realize that there was really nothing back here. And that's okay, a lot of garbage. A car whizzing by behind the camera right now, actually. But uh, yeah, a, a lot of trash. And then this is just like a big rock mound. And then it kind of turns into more of like an, an off vehicle little spot. Obviously people have occupied this space and probably camped here and been just fine with it. In fact, if Tater Tot was a camper, and I was thinking about doing what camper van Kevin did with his uh, trackers, putting a little canopy tent on, on, on the roof of there that would just pop out and give me like a little, but you know, you still gotta bring the kitties in the litter box and everything, so I don't know. Anyway, this one, uh, this one didn't work out, so I'll have to back out. Hang on, oh my god. We got over here, this gate was open. Um, there's no signs that say you no know, trespassing or anything. Also look for like addresses or mailboxes or something like that. And uh, most of the time, you just have to make a U-turn but you never know what's actually down here. I like this one because it's a little bit farther off the road. See all this tall grass? It's just uh, giving tater tot a little, little tummy wash under there. But yeah, this road is definitely big. Oh, there's something going on here off to our right. What is this? I don't know, what the heck? Can I get out and peek? All right, so <laughs> look what I found guys. We got the river down there. Owie! Good grief. Anyways, yeah, there's a body of water right there. A little, little river right there. This thing, I can see cables and stuff. I don't know what was going on there, but um, it's here now. This whole thing's here now. Um, so if I brought the RV down here, I would feel perfectly comfortable camping right here. You know, because no one can even see that I'm camping right here. And as uh, far as I can tell, could probably get away with it here. The question is, and I'm going to continue driving forward, I'm going to see what happens at the end of this road. See if I can bring the whole RV down. What, not sure what you call these uh, purple plants here, but they're really pretty. They might even be a weed, I, I don't know, but it's really pretty and there's a lot of them around here. All right, well, I will I will star this one and I, I do this on Google Earth, I'll star it and then I'll leave a little comment for myself and kind of explain what it is, but we're gonna go down here and check this out too. Mm, we're still driving through. I see some grass that's been downed right there. I'm wondering if somebody backed in right there to camp also. You know, because what if somebody does need to use this Hang on, something here, off to our right. Oh, it looks like a bunch of used tires. Oh, weird, a trailer and some used tires. And, oh crap, now I got a stomach ache. There's a building up here. 
Oh my gosh. Well, hey, there was no signs, right? I feel like this is private property and now I got a stomach ache. I'm gonna make a U-turn here, probably in their driveway. After I figure out, oh my gosh. That's like an industrial um, complex or something here. This is definitely private property. But in my defense, I didn't know. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> go back. All right, now we've uh, cut back on to 101 North uh, along the coast here. This, we're about 40 miles away from Forks, Washington. Uh, not as far as I'm going today. And like I said, uh, I don't think I'm gonna find any free camping off 101. So um, gonna be making a turn uh, into forest land here pretty soon. Also, if we keep following this road north, this is the western side way to get up to the northwesternmost tip, Cape Flattery, Nia Bay. Oh, we are entering the Olympic National Forest now. Nice, actually, I'm gonna put the blinker on. Hang on, sorry, nobody behind me. What does this say? FS Road, well, it's paved. Okay, so we're in a national, or a state forest, but, or did it say national forest? Yes, national forest. But sometimes you can still find free camping just outside the national forest. And that's what we're doing today. This is very lush and green through here. Never been through here before. Hang on. That won't fit an RV, but somebody has camped there. Okay. Uh, a lot of lot of potholes on this road. And uh, I'll, well, I got my lights. I'm actually gonna turn my high beams on. It just gives people a little bit of extra time to slow down. Oh, here's a... Here we go. Yeah, look at this big spot. Let's get out and check it out. That's what I'm talking about. I wish it were farther back, but Frida will back all the way up into that and come to about this point right here. And then you've got the dirt road, which I know people are going to be barreling down and there'll probably be some ATVs and motorcycles kicking up dust, but... I am definitely going to pin this as a free spot. Let's keep driving. Today's my scout day. Tater Tot is, is a free campsite scout. Oh, another one here. Ooh, it's a gold mine here. Whoa. This one is really cool because it definitely gets you off the road. Oh, a little muddy down here. It's a little muddy, but Tater Tot's gonna make it right here on the hard pack. Wow, it keeps going. Turn up here. And there's somebody camping here. That happens a lot. He's got a really good campsite there. I'm jealous, dude. <laughs> so see, everybody's got the same idea. Um, I'm still gonna pull over here and uh, I'm gonna star this one as one of my favorites. I have to come back here when this one opens up. What was that? It sounded like a rock. That's a cool one. All right, maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and find something like that. Or maybe when I bring the RV down, I'll park it right here and walk in and see if he's uh, left. Yeah. As we venture farther, I'm just taking some notes that Frida would... Whoa, look at this view. Look down there. That's crazy. Just making some notes that Frida's going to get some tickling on her sides through here. Um, everywhere I've been so far is accessible with the RV, but because it's wider, it is going to hit uh, some of these things off the side. And you can see it's now raining. <laughs> of course, well, I don't know if it really stopped. It was, it was sprinkling when we started today, and now it's gonna, now it's gonna rain. <clears throat> oh, there are some pretty views up here. You can't really see through the trees too well. I gotta focus because people come slamming around these corners, and where are you gonna go? How, you know, it, uh, just take her easy here. Hopefully they see my lights or I see theirs, you know. Well, looks like a tree fell down right here. And that was recent, a little slide there. Oh, there's still some debris here. Oh, I don't know. Now we're getting to the point where I don't know if Frida would fit through this little spot. Tater Tot has no problem. Um, but yeah, hmm. I want to keep going though. I want to keep going. Uh, what do we got off to our right here? This looks interesting. Let me just drive Tater Tot up here. 
This is a campsite, guys. This is a stealthy campsite right here. Ooh, I like this. It actually used to be a road, but they closed off the road. So now, now it's a nomadic fanatic campsite. And it's well enough off the road here that, um, boy, this could work. This, look at this. And look, somebody's been here before. Well, I'll go ahead and pin this one. Oh, we gotta do one more thing. There's one more important thing that I need to do when I scout. Let's go get my phone and talk about this. Because I'm a digital nomad and I'm uploading videos every single day. Let's see here. Oh, hmm, <laughs> barely. 1.98 megabits per second download. Oh, there goes to two. All right, it's gonna creep up to three now. Really? All right, 359. The upload is the important part though. Can I upload videos here? And it's sticking at zero. Barely any upload. So yeah, you know, with the daily videos and everything, how long can I stay here? Or can I just take Tater Tot back to town 20 some miles from here, back to the paved road there on 101 to upload my videos. Why did I put myself in this predicament? I volunteered myself to do up, uh, the daily uploads. We're not gonna be doing this in August, guys. We're <laughs> July, I am busting out the videos though. This is a good spot. This is a really good spot and I like how secluded it is. Yeah, but let's keep driving. I'll pin this location. So my plan now is it looks like I am 25 miles away from uh, a place I have camped out before, but I think we're going to be on the opposite side of the Wainuchi River over here uh, on, on 101 side. So um, it'll be interesting to see if there's any free camping along the Wainuchi. And actually, you guys probably can't see it, but off in the distance, that is Wainuchi Lake. But we are way up in the mountains. That's why it's 25 miles of twists and turns. Is that enough gas? Yeah, we're going to be okay. So I'm going to keep doing this route because I'm 41 years old, born and raised here, and never been on these back roads of this forest. So, um, you know, to think that I could be missing another spectacular free campsite up in the mountains uh, is not an opportunity I want to skip on. And Tater Tot gets great gas mileage, 43 miles per gallon. Uh, this is the right car to do this in because I'm 41 years old, born and raised here, and never been on these back roads of this forest. So, um, you know, to think that I could be missing another spectacular free campsite up in the mountains uh, is not an opportunity I want to skip on. And Tater Tot gets great gas mileage, 43 miles per gallon. Uh, this is the right car to do this in. Ugh got low clearance that I keep hearing grumbling underneath the car. I need to raise this car. I need to get a lift on Tater Tot. <laughs> lift, lift a smart car. Is that an actual thing? Yeah, I think, I think people do it. Get some, get some spacers so the tires stand out wider and uh, maybe some beefier off-road tires. I mean, yeah, I can, I can dig it. I can dig it. Oh man. Just gonna reverse here. Wanted to mention that I am still finding campsites through here on this road. Well, I can't call it a campsite. It is a it is a place where you could camp. You could pull off the road and you could camp for free if you wanted to. So still finding them. Oh, another opening here. Possibly a campsite right here. Yeah, I see a campfire stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. Um. This was. This was my way through. There's a gate. There's a gate there. Why is there a gate closed? Uh, hang on. I'm following my maps. My maps says to go that way. Um, I did see this little road right here. I don't know what that's gonna do, but we could try to go down here because we just came from right there. I mean, we could try this and see if this is a way around that closed gate. Boy, this is gonna turn into an adventure real quick, huh? <laughs> no, my maps, well, it says rerouting. Oh, now it says 46 minutes to go 12 miles. Well, that's weird, but we can still get through now? Huh, okay. 
nope, just slammed on the brakes. It's doing that thing again where it did in, um, oh, what state? See, see that pin? That's, that's my Wainucci spot that I've been to before. We were supposed to go through here to get to it, and instead it's rerouting us like this, and then look, it just, it just goes away. It just wants me to stop right there. And Google Maps continues to do this. There's no way through. This is the end of the road. We cannot get to Wainucci because that gate's closed. <laughs> hmm. Good thing I caught it that time, though. If I didn't have service, um, I would not have caught that. And this tater tot's pretty easy to back up. This is no biggie. I didn't back up the whole way. I didn't go too far down this road. There's just nowhere to pull off. You see the see the cliff right here? It goes down quite a ways right there. So let me let me focus here. <laughs> get back to you. I wish there was a way I could tell Google that there's a there, there's a gate there that won't allow me to do what they want me to do. But oh, yeah, it's raining even harder. Uh, I was also thinking about something though. So today is not a failed mission. I don't need to go to Wainucci. I just thought I could tap back in and then go back down to Highway 8 there. But you know this this spot that I, that I like here. Um, I'll have the booster in Frida, the uh, Wi-Fi cell, cell booster in there. Um, and also, I didn't bring out Nomad Internet, so my little AT&T Nomad Internet box, all I did was test Verizon. I might be able to get a better shot of some AT&T service through uh, Nomad Internet when I, when I get here. So this is a future spot that I will be camping at. Not sure if we're gonna do this in my very next video or what the plan is. Hey, hey, Summer? Summer, are, 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 you, are you here in the Pacific Northwest? Cause it's raining again. It's also chilly. It's only 58 degrees today here. <laughs> How are y'all enjoying your summer? I'm out here scouting and tater tot in the rain. Love it. So much better than the motorcycle in the rain, right? Okay, what's the plan here, Eric? I'm hungry. Let's get out to civilization and get some grub. And as we approach 101, this is interesting. Now there's an RV in that first place that I pulled off and they're camping. They got the awning out and everything. They got motorcycle. Yeah, that's the first place that I uh, pulled into when I first pulled onto this road. Oh, what an adventure. I can see Highway 101 up here. Finally, we're gonna hit paved roads. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a day. Hang on, flipping another Yui here. Just saw something. I don't know how practical this is gonna be, but I definitely wanna check it out now that I have the opportunity in the car. Not this one, but the next one off to our right. Plus, I thought I saw water. Is it right here? Is this what I saw? This is what I saw. Oh, bummer. Well, I'm still gonna take a peek. That's not gonna work. Oh, weird, yeah, I was I was way off. But, you know, I was driving fast and all I saw was this. But, you know, obviously this is slanted way too far down and the road is all cracked right here. And uh, if I get downhill, now you can see how much uphill it is. <laughs> You're not getting an RV down here anyway, but hey, I pulled off. We might as well go check this out anyway. Uh, that's what I saw when I drove by. I was like, water in there. Probably a fishing spot. Oh my. Look at that water, guys. That's like paradise color of water. Wow, it is so clear too. I'm not going to step too far because I can see it's really muddy and slippery. Look how clear the water is. That's got to be the Wainucci, right? So we never made it to the other side of Wainucci. And, but here it is. Nice. I know this is probably a weird video, so if, if you're new to my channel and wondering what the heck I'm doing, I'm not even in the RV today, well, I am, I'm doing this daily video thing so you get to see what it's really like for me every single day here in the month of July here in the Pacific Northwest. So it's fun for me to show you this kind of, it almost feels like it's behind the scenes like every single day and it's not quite as exciting as my normal stuff where I have three days to put together something of quality to put out. Right now it's more about quantity than quality and it's, but it's still a lot of work to, to film and edit and upload every single day. It's still a lot of work, but it's fun for me. August, we're gonna get back to our normal stuff. Thank you for the sunshine. No, it's not the Wainucci, it's the Hump Two Lips River. 
<laughs> this is what it says. The Hump Two Lips. Hump Tulips? Hump Tulips River. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks. Eric, Eric, maturity. Maturity. Hump Tulips. Uh... All right, this is the place, the Green Lantern Pub. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> Has that small town feel. Hall's Green Lantern Pub. Let's try it out. Maybe you see their funny names up there. I went with the Balls Deep IPA because it's a funny name. <laughs> try it out here. Yep, I'm turning into an IPA guy. Balls Deep. <laughs> maturity, Eric. Maturity. I know you guys have seen me play the uh, pull tabs before, but they're not really that popular outside of the Northwest. They're like a manual slot machine, okay? So if you're unfamiliar and used to like pushing buttons on an actual slot machine, these are just little paper things, if I can do it with uh, one hand here. So you pull it, and then, as you can see, you play along, it'll tell you what you win. I went with uh, the Extreme over there, there's some $80 prizes that still have been claimed. Actually, all the 80s are open. It might be a, a newer game, but here, what I do is I empty it out, and I, I throw my losers in here. And it's just a great way to sit and pass some time until your food's ready. Kind of hard to do one hand here, but no. Losers go in there. If I win any, I'll put it over here. Hoping for an 80 in here. I'm 20 bucks in. I need to win 80. All right, I'll let you know. Come on, 80 bucks. Come on in. Let's get two 80s. Oh. Come on, Tabbies. Come on, Tabbies. About halfway done, they threw me a bone. I got a, a $1 winner. <laughs> uh, gotta do better than that, though. All right, down to my last five here. Come on, you guys need some good luck. I haven't won anything big since I've been back in the Northwest. Just these little small dollar things everywhere. Oh, last one. Last one coming. Come on, Tabby. Ooh, the last one was one more, so I won three bucks on 20. I'll just put these back in and we'll try to get one more 80. All right, well, food's finally here. Um, <laughs> more on that later when we get out of here. I'm just hungry, I need to eat. Got me a cheeseburger and some fries there. And um, yeah, let's see, 50 minutes after I put in my order for a plain cheeseburger and fries. Pretty good. Not amazing. It's not ground. It's not ground material. It's good. That burger was fine. When it finally arrived, you guys know I don't just throw any burger on the ground. I don't love every single restaurant I'm at. This place, uh, they've, they've got some issues they need to take care of. I did not have a pleasant experience here. However, in these times, I understand. You know, maybe staffing is an issue or whatever, but I'll quickly tell you my story. Um, she asked me if I wanted another beer like four different times in 50 minutes. <laughs> it was at the 30 minute mark waiting for my burger when I saw the people that just came in five minutes ago eating. <laughs> I called her over, I said, hey, they, they just walked in and they're eating. <gasps> oh, your order. I'm gonna go check on that. <laughs> just milking a beer and then 40 minutes into my order for food, she came back and said, I am really sorry, I don't know what happened. Your order's in right now. So hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Okay. I'm, a, I'm as nice as I can possibly be. And uh, I still tipped her because it was a good burger. <laughs> but I didn't get my food until 51 or 52 minutes after I ordered it. And that place was not that busy. I mean, they just... There's something wrong with their ordering system. It did not get relayed to the cook somehow, but the tables do. But the bar orders, for some reason, were not getting sent to the kitchen, I guess. So they've got some work to catch up on uh, for, for the summer. Um, that was a long wait for food. I'm not just being mean and negative all the time. I'm actually one of the very few honest, relatable YouTube RV travelers out there that you can depend on to give you the exact scoop and not sugarcoat it because life is not rainbows and pancakes all the time. It's not. It's just a burger after all. So, uh, I mean, I mean, what, what can I really say? I'm, it's fine. It's fine. 
just as cool as the Green Lantern is itself, was not a pleasant experience. And that's okay, it's gonna happen from time to time. Let's go check in on those kitties. Oh my gosh, look at this monster in the window. Opie, did you miss your dad? Did you miss your dad, Opie? Is that your spot? Well, it's my spot when I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry. Yeah, he knows I'm walking over, so now he's gonna go over. <laughs> there him is. There's Tara too. I saw a Tara Tara. I did. Hi, Tara. Okay, I love you too, girl. You guys hungry? Want some dinner? Okay. You won't have a 50 minute wait. It'll be a five second wait. Heck yeah, what do you think about that customer service, Opie? Pretty good, right? There you go, Tara. Because you're such a good girl. Opie, you eat yours. No, you eat yours. Don't eat hers. Here, you eat yours. You guys want cleaner water? You want better filtered water? All right, I'll get you better water. There you go, Opie, cleaner water. There you go, Tara. Cleaner, better water. What a day. Let me figure some stuff out. I don't have long to do it because we've got another video coming tomorrow. Let me, let me look ahead and figure something out and then I will see you again tomorrow, guys. Be well. Bye-bye.